Welcome to Science for Us. In this video, we will be going to know whether bats are mammals or not and the science behind that. Before going to the video, if you are new here, hit the subscribe button for more interesting videos like this. To begin with, let's see some of the most important attributes that an animal must have in order to classify it as a mammal. Vertebra Animals have a vertebra, which is also known as a backbone. It is what allows a mammal to stand straight on its own feet. Live birth As most of us know that mammals give live birth. Endothermic system Mammals are endothermic, which means they can regulate their body temperature according to their environment. The other term we can say that mammals are warm-blooded. Hair or fur All mammals have fur or hair covering their skin. Some marine mammals don't have fur because it would interfere with their ability to swim. Over centuries of evolution, they have lost their fur. Milk All female mammals feed their young ones milk from mammary glands. Social behavior Mammals usually have more complex societies than other species. They can communicate with each other and form social groups. Lungs Mammals breathe with their lungs. Okay, these are the features that an animal needs to have in order to say it's a mammal. Now guess whether bats are mammals. Yeah, they are mammals and they are the only true flying mammals. A bat has a vertebra. Female bats give birth to live babies. Typically a bat has one baby a year. Bats are warm blooded animals. All bats are covered in thick fuzzy fur. A mother bat nurses its baby for up to six months by feeding milk. Bats roost in colonies and have other signs of complex social interaction. They also communicate with each other. Male bats, for instance, sing a mating song to attract females. Bats breathe with their lungs. So bats have almost all the attributes that a mammal should have. As I said earlier, they are the only true flying mammals. You may be thinking, are there any other mammals which can fly? Right, actually there are some, but they can only glide for short distances. Let's have a look at some of them. Petorus. These tree-dwelling marsupials are native to Australia and New Guinea, a country in West Africa. With their huge eyes and striped heads, they look like tiny flying chipmunks. They can glide up to 100 feet. Kowloko. This nocturnal animal is native to Southeast Asia. It is one of the largest flying mammal species. Kowlukos are sometimes known as flying lemurs, although they are not members of lemur family. They can glide over 200 feet. Flying Squirrel There are more than 40 species of flying squirrel found all over the world. These small mammals have a cartilage spur that opens into wings. They use their tails as parachutes to help them land when they glide. Feather Tail Glider This tiny glider looks like a darkly colored mouse, small enough to fit in a human palm. It has a long tail that it uses for balance as it glides. The Feather Tail Glider is native to Australia. That's all for this video. If you got some knowledge from this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. I'll meet you in the next video. Bye-bye.